This is the tarnish plant bug. He may look harmless, but tarnish plant bugs are arguably the most harmful pest of cotton in the Mid-South. In many cases, the bug is a lot harder to control now than it was years ago, and if left uncontrolled, populations can reach critical and destructive levels. These are the 13 best practices to manage tarnished plant bugs recommended by Mississippi State's Jeff Gore, Angus Catchett, and Don Cook. Number 1. Plant as early as possible. For example, in much of the Mississippi Delta, that would be before May 7th. Number 2. Plant an early maturing variety. Combine this with early planting dates to push toward finishing the crop before the plant bug's population peaks. Number 3. Arrange plants so that you avoid edge effects. This means keep cotton away from crops that can harbor plant bugs, like corn. In parts of the Mid-South, sometimes this is unavoidable, since some natural areas can host the bugs. Now, you can't always avoid edge effects, since you don't have control over what your neighbors may plant next to you. But at least be aware of these situations, since they can build additional pressure. Number 4. Promote earliness. This is so plants will develop at a normal pace without anything to hold them back. It also helps you control early season thrips and diseases. And remember to make sure you manage weeds because they can slow down cotton's development rate. Number 5. Avoid smooth leaf varieties. That's because hairy leaf varieties tend to fend off plant bugs better than the smooth ones. Number 6. Reduce nitrogen rates. Research in the Mississippi Delta has shown that in many cases, the same yield goals can be achieved with lower rates of nitrogen, and having too much nitrogen can lead to rank growth and delay maturity. Number 7. Avoid unnecessary irrigation. If plants put on too much water, it can cause rank growth, and excessive growth delays maturity. It also makes it harder for treatments to reach into the plant. Number 8. Use optimum application practices. Make sure you're spraying your cotton with the right nozzles and spray as soon as your crop advisor tells you to. If possible, treat the plants by ground and with enough volume for optimum coverage. But if you can't spray by ground in a timely fashion, spraying by airplane would be your best option. Number 9. Manage your sprays. Make sure sprays are sequential and shorten spray intervals to every 4 to 5 days during times of heavy pressure. Number 10. Consider starting with edge treatments. Remember those edge effects? As plant bugs begin to migrate from corn to cotton, scout closely to judge just how deep the plant bugs have moved into your crop. When you've done this, treat those parts of the field. Later, it's likely you'll need to treat the entire field or treat more often. Number 11. Rotate insecticide classes. This is so you can shorten in-season resistance trends that may occur. Number 12. Apply diamond. Do this to late square to early flowering when plant bugs are migrating. This is the best chance you've got to take out nymphs with the insect growth regulator. And number 13, be realistic about how many bowls you actually take to the gin. Don't just chase a few pounds of lint on top of the plant with multiple sprays. Admittedly, more research is needed on when to stop plant bug treatments. Eventually, every field reaches a point when it simply no longer pays to spray. For more information on specific details on managing the tarnished plant bug, you can always contact your local state extension service agent.